Hello, all creative filmmakers. In this video, I am going to show you, how to make, Ink Freeze Frame Video, or Opener, in Premiere Pro, as you can see. So, let's get started. Now we are inside Premiere Pro. Here, you can see, I have already got video footage, to the timeline. By the way, you can use any photos, or videos. And here, you can see, I have already imported some assets. To make freeze frame video, we need these types of assets. I will give the download link in the video description, you can download them for free. By the way, if you want ready-made freeze frame opener, or intro template, for Premiere Pro, you can download from Envato Market. Here, you can get very different, and unique freeze frame opener, transitions, intro, freeze frame trailer, glitch freeze frame, bad VHS freeze frame, and more. Also, you can see here, urban freeze frame opener. All the templates are very unique, and most attractive. I hope, these will help you, for making better video. I have select 5 unique freeze frame opener template. I will give the download link, in the video description. And, you can download them, from there. So, let's go back to the tutorial. Now, move the playhead, where you add the freeze frame effect. I want to add a freeze frame, at this point. Now, we have to nest the video. That's why, right click on this video. Then, select the nest. Let's give the nested sequence name. Next, we have to cut the video, at this point. After that, move the second part, a few seconds forward. Now, I am going to zoom the timeline. Now, move the playhead, one frame backward. After that, right click on this video. Let's select add frame hold option, to add a freeze frame. Now, as you can see here, a freeze frame is created. Let's extend the frame around, 1 second and 50 frames. By the way, I have taken a sequence, of 60 frames by second. Now, we have to customize this freeze frame sequence. Now, right click on this freeze frame. Then, select nest. Now, I'm going to rename this nested sequence name, freeze frame. Then, click on OK. Now, double click on this freeze frame. and. It will open, in a new sequence, called freeze frame. Now, we have to add some effects and assets, to make this unique. First of all, we have to create an adjustment layer. Then, drag and drop this adjustment layer, to the timeline, in video layer 2. Next, cut the adjustment layer, at this point. Now, select this adjustment layer, and move over to the effects panel, to add an effect. This is a gradient wipe effect. Now, drag and drop this gradient wipe effect, to the adjustment layer. Again, we have to add an effect. This is a Venetian blinds effect. Now, drag and drop this Venetian effect, to the adjustment layer. After that, we have to add an effect. This is a tin effect. Now, drag and drop this tin effect, to the adjustment layer. Again, we have to add another effect. This is a sharpen effect. Now, drag and drop this sharpen effect, to the adjustment layer. Now, move over to the effect controls panel. Here, you can see all the effects, that I have already applied. Now, from the gradient wipe effect, we have to make the transition completion value, around 30%. And, make the transition softness value, around 30%. Next, from the Venetian blinds effect, we have to make the transition completion value, around 3%. And, make the direction value, around 90. And, make the width value, around 4. Now, from the tin effect, we have to change the map black color. I have already selected a color code. Now, I am going to apply my selected color code. By the way, you can use any color. After that, we have to change the map white color. I have already selected a color code. Now, I am going to apply my selected color code. By the way, you can use any color. And finally, from the sharpen effect, we have to make the sharpen amount, around 10. Now, you can see the changes. Now, we have to duplicate this freeze frame layer one time, by holding the ALT key, combined with the right mouse button. And then, drag this two track up. Next, move over to the project panel. Now, we have to drag and drop the sync video one, to the timeline, in video layer four. After that, cut this video, at this point. Then, select this video, and move over to the effect controls panel. Now, 
from the position control, make the X position value, around 920. And, make the Y position value, around 648. And then, make the scale value, around 128. Now, select this freeze frame layer. And move over to the effects panel, to add an effect. This is a set matte effect. Now, drag and drop this set matte effect, to this freeze frame layer. Again, we have to add another effect. This is a tin effect. Now, drag and drop this tin effect, to this freeze frame layer. After that, move over to the effect controls panel. Now, from the set matte effect, we have to select video 4. Because, our ink video is, in layer 4. That's why we have to select video 4. And from here, we have to select the red channel. Now, fill the invert mat, with the check mark. And now, from the tin effect, we have to change the map black color. I have already selected a color code. Now, I'm going to apply my selected color code. By the way, you can use any color. And finally, we have to lock the sync video layer. Now, we have to duplicate these two layers one time, by holding the Alt key, combined with the right mouse button. And then, drag this one track up. After that, select this freeze frame. Move over to the effect controls panel. And, from the set matte effect, we have to select video 6. Because, our ink video is, in layer 6. That's why, we have to select video 6. And then, Select this ink video layer. Move over to the effect controls panel. Now, from the position control, make the X position value, around 1060. And, make the Y position value, around 540. And then, make the scale value, around 123. And finally, we have to make the rotation value, around 180 degrees. After that, we have to lock this ink video layer. Now, I am going to add text. Now, we have to create a text sequence. That's why, move over to the project panel. Then, click on this new item icon. And, select sequence. Now, I'm going to rename this sequence name. After that, move over to the settings panel. Now, we have to change the frame size. Here, I'm going to make the frame size, 960 by 320. And, from here, we have to select. 60 frames per second. Then, click on OK. First of all, we have to drag and drop this text background, to the timeline. Now, select this background layer. And, move over to the effects panel, to add an effect. This is a tin effect. Again, we have to add another effect. This is a linear wipe effect. Now, drag and drop this linear wipe effect, to this background. Now, Move over to the effect controls panel. Now, from the tin effect, we have to change the map white color, and map black color. You can select any color that you like. And, from the linear wipe effect, we have to click on this stopwatch icon, to enable the first keyframe. And, make the transition completion value, around 100. Now, move the playhead, 15 frames forward. Now, click on this icon, to enable the second keyframe. And, make the transition completion value, around 0. Now, right click on this last keyframe, and select, ease in. And then, right click on this first keyframe, and select, ease out. Now, open the graph panel. And, select this last keyframe. Now, you can see the handlebar. Now, drag this handlebar, and move to the left. And finally, make the feather value, around 77. Now, I am going to add a text. That's why, move over to the Essential Graphics panel. Now, right click on this icon. Then, select text. After that, type here anything, that you like. I am typing here, ink freeze frame. Then, from here, you can select any font, that you like. And then, resize and reposition the text.
Also, you can change the color from here. Now, select this background layer and move over to the effect controls panel. Now, we have to copy this linear wipe effect. After that, select the text layer and move over to the effect controls panel. Then here, paste the copied linear wipe effect. Now, we have to make the wipe angle value around minus 90 and make the feather value around 50. Now we are done. Let's move over to the project panel. Now, drag and drop this text sequence to the timeline. Now, you can see the text. After that, cut the text layer at this point. Now, we have to resize and reposition the text. That's why, select the text layer and move over to the effect controls panel. Now, we have to make the X position value around 1414. And then, make the Y position value around 810. And finally, we have to make the scale value around 120. Now, you can see the text at this position. Let's move over to the project panel. And now, drag and drop this scratch overlay video to the timeline. Then, select this scratch overlay video and move over to the effect controls panel. Now, from the blending mode, we have to select normal to screen and make the opacity value around 50%. After that, cut the scratch overlay video at this point. Again, move over to the project panel and now drag and drop this smoke overlay video to the timeline. After that, cut the smoke overlay video at this point. Then, select this smoke overlay video and move over to the effect controls panel. Now, from the blending mode, we have to select normal to screen. Again, move over to the project panel. And now, drag and drop this particle overlay video to the timeline. After that, cut the particle overlay video at this point. Then, select this particle overlay video and move over to the effect controls panel. Now, from the blending mode, we have to select normal to screen. Let's move over to the project panel. And now, drag and drop this scratch PNG overlay to the timeline. After that, cut the scratch PNG overlay at this point. Then, select this scratch PNG overlay and move over to the effect controls panel. Now, we have to make the opacity value around 25%. And then, from the blending mode, we have to select normal to screen. Now, we have to add animation to the full freeze frame sequence. That's why, move over to the project panel. Now, we have to drag and drop this adjustment layer into the timeline. With this adjustment layer, we can animate the full freeze frame sequence. Now, cut this adjustment layer at this point. Next, select the adjustment layer and move over to the effects panel to add an effect. This is a transform effect. Now, drag and drop this transform effect to the adjustment layer. Next, move over to the effect controls panel. First of all, move the playhead to the beginning of the adjustment layer. Then, click on this stopwatch icon of the scale to enable the first keyframe. Now, we have to move the playhead 30 frames forward. Now, click on this icon to enable the second keyframe and make the scale value around 117. After that, right click on this last keyframe and select Ease In. Then, right click on this first keyframe and select Ease Out. Again, move the playhead a few seconds forward. And, click on this icon to enable the third keyframe. Again, move the playhead to the last of the adjustment layer. And then, make the scale value around 100. In the same way, and the same position, we have to add a keyframe to the rotation. Move the playhead to the beginning of the adjustment layer. Then, 
Click on this stopwatch icon of the scale, to enable the first keyframe. Now, we have to move the playhead, 30 frames forward. And, make the rotation value, around 5. Again, move the playhead, a few seconds forward. And, click on this icon, to enable the third keyframe. Again, move the playhead, to the last of the adjustment layer. And then, make the rotation value, around 0. Now we are done. Next, move over to the project panel. Now, drag and drop this flare overlay video, to the timeline. Now, cut the flare overlay video, at this point. After that, select this overlay, and move over to the effect controls panel. Now, from the blending mode, we have to select normal to screen. Then, make the opacity value, around 90%. Now we are done. In this way, you can customize the freeze frame. Let's go back to the main sequence. Now, we have to add, a light leak transition overlay. That's why, move the playhead, at this first cut point. From here, move the playhead, 15 frames backward. Next, move over to the project panel. Now, drag and drop this overlay video, to the timeline at this position. Now, you can see, the overlay is too long. We have to make this, a little bit short. Now, right click on this video. Then, select speed and duration. And, make the speed value, around 200. Then, click on OK. After that, move over to the effect controls panel. And now, from the blending mode, we have to select normal to screen. And, make the opacity value, around 80%. Now, we are done. Let's preview. In this way, you can make freeze frame video, in Premiere Pro. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.